Okay, so now we're gonna go for the Mach 4 setup. Um, so, a couple things. First thing is make sure you have the latest uh, update of Mach 4 uh, that is, that is uh, good to use with uh, the ESS. So Warp 9 is the producer of ESS. The Ethernet Smooth Stepper is what ESS stands for. Um, currently, the most approved build is build 4.2.0.4517. It's usually we refer to 4517 as the, as the current approved build. So update that first. You don't have to go through this all again. Next step is uh, you want to you wanna download the uh, at least version 2.61 as of the taping of this, 2.61 of the ESS uh, or Ethernet Smooth Stepper um, plugin for Mach 4, okay? So once you've got those installed, then we're going to go to configuration. Um, where you have to disable the laser and CNC to do this. You're going to go into the plugins and the ESS V261 or greater uh, setup. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up the pins. So if you haven't done this before, nothing will be set up to define the pins. So what I've got here is a list of all the ports and pins on the Ethernet Smooth Stepper here. Um, port 1, port 2, we're going to skip down to port 3. Okay, because that's that's where our output is. That's the fr those are the free outputs that we can use uh, easily without conflicting with anything. So I have set up port three pin seven as my laser PWM, and all you do for that is you're going to set it active high, which is the red. I click in here. I change this to laser PWM. I've kept the port number and the pin number listed here. Okay. The stop state is force off, and the feed hold state is force off. Okay, that is port three, pin seven. Now, you can use any port or pin you want. Um, they, I know Vectric uh, may, be may be wanting to standardize this, and so I know that JTEC uses, JTEC lasers uses uh, port three, uh, pin 20, I believe, um, something like that. So, doesn't matter. Actually, they can't use pin 20 because it's uh, there's only 17 pins. So uh, regardless, as long as you know what you're setting, what you've plugged your, in the last stage, we plug those two wires in to the, uh, the port three on the ESS when I, where I showed you those two wires going into my electronics. As long as you know the port, no, port and pins of that, that's what you need. So one was plugged into the port three pin seven. Okay, that was where one of those wires was plugged into. The second wire was not, I repeat, not plugged into port three, pin eight. Now, I know this is defined here. This is just, this is just a, um, a, a dummy uh, pin that we've, we've commandeered for this. So ignore this, but the other one was plugged into pin 18, which was the ground, okay? So I know that that is not set up in here. That is, doesn't need to be set up in here. It's just the ground. So the only pin that really matters here is port three, pin seven, which is what my, uh, my cable, my, one of my wires was plugged into. The other wire was plugged into the ground, okay? Which is port three, pin 18. This port three, pin eight, has to be set up because it's the laser gate. These lasers don't use a gate, so we don't need to worry about that. Set it up just for, just to make the software happy. It does need to be set up, but you're not actually not going to be connecting it or using a gate, okay? But I've set up port three, pin eight as the laser gate, okay? Now, once that's done, you've defined your pins. So we're gonna move over to output signals. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down here and you'll find a section that says laser PWM. That is where, when I click that, I'll get a, I'll get a drop down list. And that is where I wanna select what I've defined in that last screen, okay? The pins. So I'm gonna select that, which is port three, pin seven. Okay, I'm going to scroll down further, okay? 
and down at the bottom there will be outputs down here okay you can select any output any open output that isn't being used okay I've selected output 5 some people select output 20 it doesn't matter but you're gonna get another drop down here this is where you select the gate okay and this is what's gonna turn the laser on and off okay so that's the output you need to remember which output you defined output number five for me okay now once those are selected so output number five is for the laser gate which is port three pin eight that I've just arbitrarily selected in the pins when I set it up in the last screen okay and up here laser PWM is going to be selected for what I've set up as my pins which is port three pin seven okay so now after that we're going to go back to we're going to go to the laser tab now the laser tab is where we're going to come down to this section right here i'm going to allow laser test mode and that's that's going to allow me to test the laser later on but more importantly i am going to select laser gate output number and that was five remember we just defined that in the last in the output signals screen okay i'm going to select output five for that the Frequency and things like that, that's all going to be defined on the fly in the post processor. If you use Vectric software, I've got a post processor that you can use. Um, otherwise, you set it to whatever you think works for you. So I've, I've got mine at 7,500 and 15,000. Uh, you can be 10,000, something like that. Anything under 20,000, okay? It needs to be under 20,000. Gate delay 1%, gate duration 99%, those should work fine. Everything else is arbitrary. You don't really need to, to, to set it up. Once you have that done, the other thing I need you to do um, in Mach 3 for the e Ethernet Smooth Stepper is go into Height Control, okay, HC, and on number four, disable Laser PWM XY because what you're going to do here is disable this because otherwise it conflicts with the, with the Laser PWM signal. Okay, so if you, uh, based on the newest version of the Smooth Stepper, uh, you're going to get an error if you do not check this off. Okay, so check that off. Once that's done, click OK, and you are good. Now, Mach 4 is set up, and you can test it um, with a, with a G-code file if you want, or you can actually download from the Ethernet Smooth Stepper site the laser... Um, laser screen, which will allow you to test arm and test fire the laser without having G code loaded. Okay, so that is the Mach 4 setup.